Hi everyone, my name is Rahil Mujahid and I am a Certified Solution Architect by Microsoft. So in this video, we will discuss about AZ304 that is the updated version of AZ301, right? So basically this exam is for the uh, Certified Solution Architect Design. It means if you pass out this certification, so you will get the badge of Certified Solution Architect Design. And uh, this AZ304 is one of the prerequisite of Azure Solution Architect Expert Badge. So if you want a badge of Azure um, uh, Certified Solution Architect Expert, then you have to pass out the AZ304 along with AZ303. So if you want to know about AZ303 and what is my experience with AZ303, then you can check out the video which I have already uploaded on my channel, it is the Cloud Saviors. So this video is completely, uh, I mean, I will discuss everything about AZ304 and what is my experience with this particular examination. So before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel because uh, I, uh, I mean, I keep on uploading the videos on Azure certification and uh, make sure you click on the bell icon. Okay, so let's start it. Basically, in AZ304, so it is the easiest one if you compare with AZ303. So if I compare both the examination, I mean in the one hand AZ303 and in another hand AZ304. So I would say AZ303 is, is much harder than AZ304. Right, because in AZ304 you have to just give the solution, I mean they will give you one scenario and you have to design the component. Right, they will give you one case study and you have to design the solution that yes, if you would be there, then what kind of solution you would provide to this particular problem. So these, these kind of questions uh, you will get in your examination. So basically in my examination, uh, I got around uh, 55 questions, right? So basically some of them, uh, I mean completely a simple MCQs. So basically uh, there was a, some kind of, uh, uh, I mean, you know, uh, uh, problem of monitoring, right? They were having 50 virtual machine and they wanted to monitor it. So the, um, that was very easy, right? Because uh, the options was uh, like uh, as your security center uh, and as your key vault. Third option was as your monitor, something like that, right? So yes, that's a very basic question. The answer is as your monitor only because uh, we use as your monitor for the monitoring part, right? For just to monitor the virtual machine. So basically these kind of questions you would get. And if I talk about the timings, obviously timing would be 210 minutes. That is a complete, uh, I mean, three hours because uh, half an hour dedicated is for the check-in and check-out process. So you will get 180 minutes. That's a complete three hours, right? And I think that is more than enough because I completed my examination in one hour only because there is no lab at all. They will only give you MCQs, right? And uh, um, I mean, some MCQs, in some MCQs, you will get the options of four or five and uh, you have to select, uh, I mean, uh, sometimes one answer, you have to select uh, multiple answers. And in the second MCQs, you will, you have to just uh, um, answer in the yes or no. So basically there, is only, there, there, there will be a one question. So they will repeat this question around three or four times with the different different answers and you have to just tell them you have to just click that yes is it right or wrong you have to just click on the yes or no but always remember on these kind of questions on these kind of mcqs you cannot go back right so make sure i mean in the in the in the simple mcqs you can just go back and just you know edit your answer it is it's possible but in these kind of mcqs where one questions will be asked i mean a three or four times with a different different solution so you cannot go back although you will get uh, one notification there once uh, you know this section will start in your examination so you will get uh, one notification they will mention this thing that yes in this particular section you will not be able to go back and edit your answers 
right so make sure you don't make these mistakes uh, uh, focus on the questions and then only click on the yes or no i mean whether the solution is right or wrong that is the one thing um second thing is that you will get the case studies around uh, two or three right so you have to just uh, i mean uh, provide the right answers uh, uh, from the case studies they will ask you four to five questions and uh, on on the base of the case study right whatever problems should they have mentioned you have to give the proper solutions right so basically um, uh, if you have if you have already given the ac 303 then you can easily correct this certification that is ac 304 but yes if you are giving ac 304 first then you are planning to do the ac 303 after that then yes you have to work a lot you have to work on the practical part you have to work on the i mean if you would get any kind of a um, problem right so how you gonna create the architect uh, architecture on azure portal what kind of services you will use so you have to think in this direction right for example they will give you one a simple scenario that yes we are having this uh, this was this much user in our azure active directory and um, you know for the security we want to uh, i mean we want to use one uh, i mean two uh, more than one method for the authentication so you have to give the solution like what kind of solutions we are having on the azure just to uh, just to uh, i mean you know just to solve this particular problem so the answer is mfa multi-factor authentication you can configure mfa that it will provide the more than one way to authenticate your users right so these kind of questions you will get in az 304 so that was uh, my experience and uh, okay let me just mention the costing part as well so the costing is exact the same like uh, you know uh, what uh, i have just mentioned in the, my previous videos that is around um, um uh, five thousand if you are in india it will cost you around um, uh, five thousand seven hundred rupees with taxes right and uh, if you are in any another country then then you have to check out on the microsoft documentation right i'm not aware about that thing but yes if you are in india like me so it will cost you around 5700 rupees okay so that was uh, my experience if you have any anything in your mind if you want to ask any question then you can uh, always put your questions your query in the comment section so and if you want to connect with me if you if you have any question that you want to ask me in the inbox then you can or you can you can just message me anytime on the linkedin i have just dropped my um a linkedin profile in the description section okay so thank you so much and all the best for your examination